What's up people? Welcome to the 13th lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushri and today we're going to talk about smoothing spatial filters. So smoothing filters are mainly used for blurring and noise reduction. Now in this blurring is used in pre-processing tasks, you know, such as removal of small details from an image prior to large object extraction. Whereas noise reduction can be accomplished by blurring with a linear filter and also by non-linear filtering. So we look at the different types of smoothing spatial filters. Now let's understand this with the help of this diagram. See we have smoothing spatial filters which are of two types, linear and non-linear filters. Non-linear are also known as order statistic filters. Okay. Under linear, we have mean or box filters. And then we have weighted average filters, Gaussian filters. Under non-linear, we have median, max, and min filters. Now we'll get into the details of these. Now one by one, let's try to understand all of these filters. And at the end, we'll do a question involving all of them. Okay, so the first one is smoothing linear filters. They are also known as averaging filters or low pass filters as they are simply the average of the pixels contained in the neighborhood of the filter mask. So to perform this operation, we need something known as a filter mask. Okay. And uh, because of the averaging, the process results in an image with reduced sharp transitions in intensities, which ultimately leads to noise reduction. Now in smoothing linear filters, the first type is box filter. Here all the coefficients are equal. If you look at this figure here, this is the example of a mask, a 3 by 3 mask for box filter. Okay. Here if you look at the pixel values, all of them are equal to 1 and all of them are equal. right? And it is multiplied by 1 by 9 because if you take the sum of each of these values, it is equal to 9. Okay. The next one is weighted average filter. Here more weight is given to pixels near the output location. So you know the center pixel is always the output location, right? And if you look at the neighbors which are closer to them, which is by four neighbor adjacency, then these values have more weightage, right? And the diagonal values have less weightage here. So that's why it's an example, or this is a mask for weighted average. And it is multiplied by 1 by 16 because if you take the sum of all of these values, it is equal to 16. The next type of smoothing linear filter is Gaussian filter. Now here the weights are samples of 2D Gaussian function. If you look at this function here, this is the 2D Gaussian function. Okay. So now if you check online, for Gaussian function, you'll find different types of functions. Okay, but those will be 1D Gaussian fun function. If you look over here, 1 by 2 pi sigma square into e raised to minus x square plus y square by 2 sigma square. This is our 2D Gaussian function. Okay, which means this is a combination of two 1D Gaussian functions. Okay, here sigma is the standard deviation of the distribution and this function is used for creating the mask which we use on our images see here this is a 3 by 3 mask okay 1 by 16 into 1 to 1 2 4 2 1 to 1 now if you see this is similar to our weighted average mask right so that's why our answers would be the same when we calculate using this mask now Gaussian filter it is used to blur edges and reduce contrast and it is similar to median filter but this one is faster. Why? Uh, we'll understand more about median filter uh, later but then in median filter what we use is sorting but in Gaussian function we just use the multiplication of individual pixels with these pixels. So that's why Gaussian filter is faster than median filter. Now the next type of filters are non-linear, also known as order statistic filters. 
their response is based on ordering or ranking of the pixels contained in the image area encompassed by the filter and then replacing the value of the center pixel with the value determined by the ranking result okay so the different types of filters here are median filter min and max filters in median we just find the median of all the pixels in min filter we find the minimum value and in max filter we find the maximum value of all the pixels now let's look at our question here consider the image below and calculate the output of the pixel 2 comma 2 if smoothing is done using 3 by 3 neighborhood using all of the filters below so we have this input image here and we have this 2 by 2 pixel value here now since it's given 3 by 3 neighborhood we'll only consider this 3 by 3 area around the center pixel okay so let's get started the first one is box filter now if you remember the mask for box filter it was 1 by 9 into 1 in all the pixel values okay so for our output pixel we'll take this 1 by 9 and then since it's 1 in all the places we'll just take the original pixel values and the sum of it so it will be 7 plus 9 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 this will get the value as 1 by 9 into 42 or it will be 4.66 which is almost equal to 5 so our output image would be this image but instead of the 6 we'll have the value 5 next we have weighted average filter so for this If you remember the mask for this, it was 1 by 16 into 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 2 and 1, 2, 1, right? So we'll take this values. First we'll take 1 by 16 and next what we'll do is we take each of these elements and multiply by these corresponding elements. So here we'll have 7 into 1 plus 9 into 2 and so on we'll multiply. 5 into 1 plus 4 into 2 plus 4 into 6 plus 8 into 2 plus 2 into 1 plus 0 into 2 plus 1 into 1 right so this we'll get the value as 81 which will be approximately 5.0625 or we can call it as 5 so in our final answer we'll have this matrix but instead of this 6 we we'll substitute this 5 next we'll calculate median filter so for that what we'll do is we will arrange all of these elements in ascending order so if we write it in ascending order it will be 0 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right now if you calculate the center element if you look at the center element it is 5 so therefore the median here is 5 right so 5 will be our answer 5 will be replaced by the 6 here next comes min filter now this is very easy here we just calculate the minimum value from all of these values so what is the minimum pixel value it is 0 so therefore the answer is 0 and similarly for max filter 
we calculate the maximum value. What is the maximum value here? It's 9. So the answer is 9. And that's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next one.